Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. I have always loved the British countryside. It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day, not to mention all the memories. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. A desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's a banker's lamp. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. An open desk drawer. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. An open desk drawer. An op an open desk drawer. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Maps. Lots of maps. Ah, the old grandma bone. Enough of that. Fairies by Brian Fra. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. 
Celtic myths and legends. What a globe. Huh. Is that supposed to be wind? Oh, okay. These can be pushed. No, that's not it. Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. That doesn't seem to be it. No, that's not it. Ah, shoot. What are these strange markings and symbols? Hey, this is that goddess that doesn't seem to be it. I did it! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa! Whoa. Serious whoa. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Damn, the adapter's missing. Prob- Oh man, my old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Hey, Mr. Piggles. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... Grandpa loved this thing. Told Come to think of it, I can't believe my I'd take it if... Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. The key I have must fit elsewhere. Hello, this is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves and I needed to protect you from them. 
I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. An open desk drawer. A desk drawer. Nah. I can find my way back to the train station without- This will be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. That's a really nice... binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um... An open desk drawer. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. What could the combination be? Fancy key. Okay. Aren't these trying? This clock hand is a triangle facing outwards with a line going through it.
This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards. Weren't these? This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards. This button, this button seems to select clock hands. This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. Was that it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? No, 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 no! That was the first time I traveled by magic. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story for another time.